The way the system works is contradictory. It, it really is. Don't say system. Just say what it is. No, the white I, man. I, because I, the I'm white gonna, man is the one who made up the damn system. It's the white man who runs the system. So don't put no sugar code on it, man. It's not don't say system. Way. Say white man. <laughs> I could easily say, oh, you're the white man, but you're obviously not. You're mixed. Um, yeah, half, half Chinese, half English. What was that experience like? Growing up? Yeah. I mean, in high school, they used to... The, the, I, I'm not going to tell you my nicknames, <laughs> but of course that you get made fun of, you know what I mean? So, whatever, that's what you got to deal with. Do you think black people can be racist? No. <laughs> okay. Answered. I'm not going to stand here and sugarcoat a goddamn thing for the white man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of our brothers and sisters that's, that's not um, working right now. You see? That's out of jobs, that's naked, raggedy, and out of dogs. And you got to blame the white man for a lot of this stuff that's going on. You don't see no black, you don't see no white kids getting shot down in white neighborhoods. You see black kids getting shot down in the neighborhood. You don't see no black cops going over there murdering white little kid Jews. You see white cops murdering our children. So the black-white dynamic is always in existence right now here today. What do you think of race relations here in this country? I think this is a wonderful country. We do the best we can with the situation that we have. I'm curious to know, why don't Jews and black people get along better? Why aren't we better friends? I wouldn't say that. Taboo subjects in general, I hate on. Because oh. it, the, the more you don't talk about something, the more people think about it. I think that there's a huge rift. If you like, if you look at the classic stereotype. You know, like the Crown Heights episode and that whole thing? Yeah, you know, but like, I, I mean, it's always kind of been like Jews versus blacks as far as who suffered more. Who the fuck cares who suffered more? Suffering is suffering. I mean, it's not good either way. And it's not something to like register and scale, you know? Where do you think this dis disassociation between Afrocentric, Afrocentricity and homosexuality started? Why is there? Um, I think a lot of it has to do, it, it's our fault in that the missionaries brought a very conservative um, brand of Christianity and a very literalism of the Bible. And unfortunately, for a lot of the, the countries that the missionaries went to, they've kind of stayed in that place, whereas other, other places there's been a developing theology. Do you have any stereotypes? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I ascribe to any one stereotype, no. Um, I'm an American girl from Brooklyn, and um, my family's from South Carolina, so whatever stereotype you can probably attribute to an American Girl from South Carolina. Well, I was I, I was more so any. talking about like the equipment. Equipment? Yeah. What do you mean equipment? Like stereos. Like what kind of stereo? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> like so, you're like in the one percent. How does it feel to be superior? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, folks. Do you believe that Nikki stole Little Kim style? I, you know what? Yeah, I think so because Little Kim was like the first to come out like that, and like Nikki just like took her yeah she did do you find like a lot of people are like what is this little hispanic dude doing at this hip-hop club and i'm not like, hispanic yeah and then you have to be like you're not hispanic i don't play my music like the hispanic people at Jeez. nine o'clock in the morning where are you from albania albania i've never been i heard the weather is lovely out there what's your uh your soundtrack right now the cars noise of the cars Noise of the cars? Yeah, cars. Ooh, oh, the noise of the cars. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, do you have like a favorite horn or like is there a favorite beep of yours? No. No? no. Any favorite songs that you listen to? The songs, uh, sometimes I listen to Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd? Yeah. Oh, you got to trip on a lot of acid to that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think that uh, drug culture plays an important part in music? Without ecstasy, I don't think Animal Collective would make any sense. Without weed, there would be no Lil Wayne anyway. What kind of drug do you like to use when listening to music? I don't really listen to music. You don't listen to any kind of music? I was listening to some Mary J. Blige this morning, but that's about it. 
That is the most unexpected turn that we have had thus far. What do you think of stereotypes? Do you believe in any of that stuff? No, no, no. No? I'm not racist, so I like everybody. I like you too. Yeah. Yeah. We should listen to Pink Floyd sometime. Yeah, my wife liked that group, so... What's the stereotype that you hate to admit to being true? That black guys like white women more. You think that mo white people moving into a neighborhood is better for a neighborhood? Not really. It's a mixture. The good, you know, they um, they invest and they spend, you know. That's okay. what we need here, you know. Not really, you know. Not really. Uh, I notice there are a lot of uh, stroller pushers around here. Do they get a little annoying after a while? <laughs> I think that, you know, it could be a little annoying at points when you're trying to get to where you want to be, but I don't think there's an overabundance of that here. People got to stop having kids so much. <laughs> I don't agree with that as one that wants one really soon. You so want nah, some kids? Of course, of course. I'm single. Of course. Well, let's go. All right. Let's well, stop let's, the interview uh, no. and let's go. Let's or we happen. can really turn this into another <laughs> franchise altogether. Uh, what are stereotypes that you commonly hear or run into? By appearance, people assume I might be a, a one percenter or a Wall Streeter. I'm, I'm neither. I run sales and marketing for a construction company. You're just a cool cat, baby. Do you feel that you're often labeled with a stereotype? All the time. I mean, I'm Hispanic. I'm a woman. If I'm not in my work clothing and I'm like dressed casually, people will not believe or imagine the type of work that I do just based on what I wear, you know, how my hair is, my makeup. We all are judgmental in some kind of way or form and fashion because if you have a right to choose and pick, that's stereotype, that's just being judgmental. It happened to me once where I was excluded at one point from a very important conversation and conference meeting and I was told, here, hon, go make some copies. Wow. Yeah, and I was kind of not cool. So is it a race thing or is it like a socioeconomic thing or is it an Asian thing? I mean, that's human nature. Personally, in one of my raps, it says, do what you do, because I'm going to do me, do dude, and you going to be you. This is going on YouTube, so the comment section gets filled with all types of crazy shit. Oh, yeah. What do you think is going to be something they say about you down there? It's just the good stuff. So it's only going to be positive? Of course. <laughs> There's not going to be anything like, she's all hungry and no, oh, she can't no, speak no, English. No. Are you comfortable with whatever oh, people have to say? I'm very comfortable. Okay. Because yeah. you will attack them with that karate, you know, right? <laughs> get it? I will get Jet Li on that. Yeah. Why do you think people are so mean in the review section? Ah, uh, because they're angry. Can you just say your name and you're watching stereotypes? Yeah, Alan, Alan. My name is Alan. And you're watching stereotypes? Yeah, all right. What do you think they're going to say about you in the comment page below? Um, probably that I'm dumb. 